Thank you for plugging into this Family Life News podcast, streaming issues-driven, family-focused news. This is Faith Under Fire. Each Thursday on Family Life, we give voice to religious battlegrounds in this nation. I'm your host, Tracy Lynn. With us today, Christian mom and podcaster Cynthia Yanoff. She talks with us about kids amid COVID. This can be an upsetting time for adults as well as children. Cynthia, do you have any tips for parents about ways to help kids acknowledge their feelings while also offering them some security? Absolutely. I think what we've got to do as parents is we've got to recognize those places that are hard for us are also difficult for our children. They can't fully appreciate the history with the Lord that we have. But what we do here is we just talk about the places where He's been faithful in the past. And I think some of the best words we can say right now is, I don't know, but. I don't know how this all plays out, but I know God is faithful wherever they're struggling. I don't know what the Lord's doing in this, but I do know that He always has a plan, that He works everything for His glory and our good. And knowing that, then we can trust Him. And so just kind of trying to get a little outside into the bigger picture, I think has been really helpful, especially during these times of COVID when, honestly, we don't have a clue. We don't know when this will end. In James, we're told, hey, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. You already mentioned some good lessons, but how might we actually use this time to reinforce biblical truths about the purpose of tough times. What I think helps too is go back into the Bible. Go back to those places and find Bible characters like Moses, like Joseph. Go back and show our kids their lives and how in the moment of different things they're facing, for example, Joseph, in falsely imprisoned or sold into slavery, right? In all these places, very difficult if you're in the moment to understand what God was doing. But if you step out of that, we know the big picture of what God was doing and how He was saving a nation through Him. So when we face these times when we don't know, we can't see it, having joy is seeing the bigger picture. We're focused on the things that are eternal. Let's all be clear, that is really hard, depending on the ages of your kids. But again, a lot of what they take in these times is from us. And what's the narrative we have in our home? Is our narrative one? It's encouragement. It's positive. It's one of those that we're talking about. Listen, we're learning adaptability and flexibility. Are we speaking truth in our home? Or is the narrative in our home a little more on this is helpless or, you know, we don't know where God is in it, right? Cynthia, even though school and work schedules may be in an upheaval, we keep hearing that routines are good. Would you offer some insights on that? Sure. I think routine is important for all of us and especially our kids. And so just keeping the normalcy and the things we can, and there's a balance in that, even in my own home, like trying to decide, like, do I let my kids go back to school in person or do I keep them at home? And at some point, I have to weigh in favor of routine for them a lot of times. And for us, that was for them to go to school in person. I know that's different for everybody, depending on where you live. But at home, we can still have those routines. And really, now is a great time to put in place new routines, routines that focus on the Lord, on the bigger things. And listen, I have a very realistic home. We don't wake up every morning and do an hour and a half devotional and sing Kumbaya. (laughs) That's not how it works in our home. But what we try to do is really put priority on positive time together, on finding things that each individual person enjoys. Like, I really don't enjoy the Xbox, let's be clear. But that's kind of my son's thing. And so we (laughs) gather around the Xbox sometimes and let him play or try to play with him. You know, putting in place routines of fun, of tradition as we get closer to the holidays. What are some traditions? Those are routines also. And try to find ways to implement those things you've always done. Just be creative in how you do it. If it includes being out conscientious during COVID. Yeah, I think routine matters for all of us. And those routines of rest and worshiping the Lord, loving each other well, Mm. caring for others. Serving, those are routines that we can do anytime, pandemic or not. Going back to your other answer, you talked about stepping back into Joseph's shoes because sometimes all we see is the pit. Thank you again for bringing it back and helping us kind of tear it apart. To do that, I think we have to actually force ourselves to slow down, to consider things from another perspective. Right. Cynthia, it's obvious that you have a sense of humor, and I wanted to ask how laughter plays a part in challenging times like this or in everyday life. Parenting is not easy, COVID or not. No, parenting is hard. My mom always told me this. If you're going to laugh about it later, 
like in a year, then you need to laugh about it today in parenting. And so that doesn't mean I don't discipline my kids or I don't get serious or I need to be serious. But if I have to internally laugh at something to not cry, then I'm going to do that in my own life. When my son was in kindergarten, my middle son, he's now in eighth grade, but he was in a small private Christian school. And at the beginning of school, he, I guess, wasn't aware of what it meant to show a certain finger, if you were to lift that finger. So he was doing that in the cafeteria at this Christian private school while I was teaching a Bible study down the hall. And I I was devastated. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I raising? How would he know this? I was really upset for a long time. And that's not to take it lightly, but he didn't know what he was doing. We talked through it. It was a great time to be able to speak truth in him. Like, be careful what you do. Your actions matter. But we laugh kind of hard about it. Now we're like, my heavens, of all the things for you to figure out at the first day, you know, in your private Christian school, we can laugh now. And so there's going to be things that are going on, especially during COVID. I mean, let's laugh at the fact We struggled with toilet paper for a while. What are we going to do about that? And yes, there's hardship in this, and we don't want to make light of that. People have lost jobs. There's so much to it. But let's laugh where we can laugh because, really, we all need to be able to laugh. And I know in our house, we've had two broken arms, and I had an emergency surgery all within that first couple of months of COVID. I'm like, how does this even happen? So step back. Let's laugh about it now and realize, like, God has a sense of humor. It's okay to not take ourselves so seriously and teach our kids that, like, be able to laugh and enjoy life a little bit. It's a bumpy road. We're all on it together. So let's just laugh a little along the way. That's Cynthia Yanoff. I'm Tracy Lynn, Family Life News.